Higgins got the franchise tag. We found that out today from the Cincinnati Bengals. Kind of felt like that was going to happen. Mm, we were sort yeah. of expecting it. So with him returning field, do you see anything different? Because this was sort of a down year for T. What is it that you look at 2024 and how it can be different for that Bengals offense? What I'm most interested in is whether they get a deal done with T. Higgins in the long term, because mm. you're right. Uh, usually you want to go into your free agency or your franchise tag period coming off of a high note. He did not come off of a he high note this past season, which is 42 catches. Obviously missed time due to injury. Did have some special moments late in the season, that game against the Vikings where he had that ridiculous, yes. like sprawling leap for the end zone touchdown grab. Um, really talented player and like this is one of those where like if you're the Bengals and if you're t higgins and you find some common ground it's going to be because you acknowledge he's like a six foot three freak who's really really good mm -hmm. um but this i think the cincinnati offense though has a chance to be like they could be this year like this past year's version of the ravens where it's like the really really awesome team is just sitting there like what's the expression hiding in plain sight mm -hmm. yeah where you're like last year they were nine and eight and their quarterback missed most of the season and they mm -hmm. struggled out of the gates like mm -hmm. They could be awesome this year and go nuclear on offense by doing exactly what they did a couple of years ago. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Higgins ceiling yet. Super boom bust last year. Believe it or not, he was actually a top 10 score receiver in one third of his games. It was the eighth highest rated receiver. He was just outside the top 35 every other week. So we need uh, more consistent production from him. Yeah, he, that's, yeah, absolutely. That's he, was, he was a 49er, but uh, only 33rd in fantasy points per game when Joe Burrow played with him last season. But it's a small sample, five games. Yeah. We've seen better in the past. So I do think he bounces back this year. And I'm going to make a bold prediction here. Okay. I think he lands with the Bengals for next season. Oh, wow. that's, yeah. that's a big that's one. That's my projection. That was not spot. mine, so I guess wow. we can debate I that one. I was actually going to go another direction, but then he got tagged. So, <laughs> so there you go. It's no Can't fun. Can't have fun with that 